Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a tutorial course for Reveal Sound Spire. So this is a software synthesizer, and it's one of the newer ones that's kind of come across in the past couple of years. And it's also one of the most popular soft synths, and it's gaining kind of a cult status. So if you've never heard of it, here it is. Um, it's only a few years old. It came out a few years ago, and since its release, it's consistently been in the top 10, and even this year the top 5 of Computer Music Magazine's annual compilation slash vote of the top 50 soft synths out there. So it's a very powerful synth. It's definitely marketed as a EDM style synth, but it, it can do so much more. It can do pop, it can do hip hop, it can do ambient, it can do chill, it can do a lot of different genres, and that's because of how it's set up. But it's a pretty simple synth with its, with its layout. It's a one page layout, save for the envelopes, which you know you have duplicates and the, uh, the LFOs, and then you have the step and the ARP down here. So it's laid out with, with one page and you have your matrix. So it's kind of the mod matrix isn't like a massive or serum mod matrix, if you're at all familiar with those synths. It's more like silent where you have the drop down menus and that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's one of my personal favorites since outside of Massive, this is probably the one that I'm finding myself using the most. So what is it? Uh, this first video is going to be the introduction, obviously, and then you know to follow all the other types of synth courses that I do. It's broken up into sections so you can freely go to and from each one as you please. But basically, Spire is a hybrid synth. That's the best way to explain it. Uh, if you read about just on, on a site, you might think of it as a, another subtractive synth, but it's not. It, it, it has waveforms and wavetables that you would not get with a typical subtractive synth like Silent. So you're going to get a lot more waveforms, wave shapes, uh, slash wavetables than sine, saw, triangle, pulse, all that sort of stuff. You get 49 of them, in fact. Uh, and they range from, you know, your basic ones to piano, to violin, oboe, sitar, uh, bayon, I don't even know what that is, I should probably look that up, guitar, organs, you get vocals, robots, you get tons of cool stuff. So it is, uh, basically, the workflow process is reminiscent of a subtractive synth. And if you're not familiar with that, there is a, another course that I've done on ADSR. It's, it's comparing subtractive versus wavetable synthesis and talks about the differences between the two types. Check that out. I'm not going to get into a huge amount of depth in that topic with this because we're focusing on Spire. But basically, when you are using a subtractive synth, the sound or tone that's generated from the oscillator is going to be very bright and big. And then you subtract from that using a filter, hence the name subtractive synthesis. That's the workflow process inside of Spire, but it is not the limitation of the oscillators. You have these different modes, classic, noise, FM, AM, and saw, pulse width modulation. So it's kind of a hybrid between subtractive meets wavetable meets a little bit of wave shaping, which is adding to a waveform, not cycling through the tables. So some, some of these presets sound very wavetable to me, and some of them actually have take on more of the wave shaping. The, uh, the manual and online doesn't give a very good clarification, so I'm kind of blending how you know, my personal experience with what I know of the synth so you guys can better understand it. But that's basically what's going on with Spire. It's a very powerful synth. It has effects. It has you know, multiple filters, four oscillators. That's basically the architecture of this. So to finish this intro video, I was going to play a couple of the stock presets. Now, I will say that one of the best benefits of purchasing a synth that's newer, uh, not to throw like Massive or Silent under the bus, those synths are getting actually old, which is weird to think of a soft synth getting old, but the stock libraries came out almost 10 years ago, if you can believe it. So the sounds aren't super current. Well, this came out a couple years ago, and the sounds are very current if you produce EDM. So here's a bass, just a stock preset. I mean, you could you could just use that in a song. So let me play some. Um, we'll play some leads here. And I am playing live right now, so if I mess up, I apologize.
So that's a re- All right, so I'll play a couple more presets. All right, so I could play the stock presets for a long time. It comes with multiple banks, but I want to actually get into the tutorial. So as you can see, or as you can hear rather, it's a very versatile sounding software synthesizer. So I'll see you in the next video where we will be discussing the layout.